All right. Alrighty, so I'm gonna. Also, let's first see night it. together, eighteen on a seduction roll. I think she did respectably well. <laughs> hmm. Daniel. Uh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's a good way to pick up where we left off. I was just Uh, okay. Um, Not without right, that's detail, a... just... Eh. Okay, okay. Um, okay. Just... and we're back, people. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was kind of weird. Um, okay, so let's pick up where we left off. So, everybody's leaving uh, Denerim and heading off to Lake Kalinhad. Which I'll pull up on the map. Alright. Um, now, just to make sure that we're going to be... Uh, I'm wrapping things up really quickly. Uh, so I'm not going to ask for any interactions between any of the PCs and NPCs for this. Because, you know, that would take time. <laughs> so, everyone is currently in Lake Kalanhad. Um, and is... Currently back where near the uh, the circle of magi is, and, you know where the main circle is. So now here's the thing: um, I would like for all four of you to roll a willpower self-discipline check. Nine. Seventeen. Thank 17. you, my teammates. <laughs> All right, 13. Okay, so uh, Gerard and Lyra, you start feeling your keys reacting immediately, but Kendra, a few seconds after their keys start reacting, yours starts reacting. And a few seconds after that, Robots, your key starts to react. Good song. Hmm. Seems like it. Alright. Now, here's what happens. Um, a glow starts to form around the four of you, like a halo on top of you. And all of a sudden, this power goes shining down on the four of you. And I'll say is this. I would like the four of you to roll initiative. That's steps, that right? Yep. Yes. Thirteen. Oh my god! Dang. Holy cow! <laughs> you crit failed. <laughs> what? Okay. Let's see. So roll us to thirteen. Okay. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So let me uh, do a this real quick. Um, let me do something here real quick. Um, I need to get all your tokens out real quickly so I can be able to do the order correctly. Now we need a map change. Bloop. All right, so. Lyra. As the light, uh, as everyone starts to see the light start to change, you are actually back in the Chantry of Lothering. Now, here's the thing. There's a mirror right next to you, and as you look in the mirror, you look a lot older. And of course, the Chantry of Lothering has been improved since the last time you saw it. And currently, all the people are, of course, doing their rituals and praising the Maker and everything. And as you look at your armor, you're wearing something that a Knight Commander is wearing. And, and you find that very... She'll kind of whisper to herself, like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah, as you say that, you hear a voice go, hmm? What? And as you look back, um, 
another fellow knight commander, whom you don't know, but the weird thing is, is that he too is a data shelf. She'll say, she'll play along and say, uh, nothing, just talking to myself. Ah, very well then. Now, Lyra, you start to get the feeling that, that, um, this guy looks familiar. Can't put your finger on it, but he looks familiar. She'll ask, what is your name again? Uh, didn't I already tell you, Lyra? My name is Risha. From the clan. To her? <laughs> he, he said, he, he'll, uh, can you repeat what you said? Does that ring any bells to her? <laughs> um... No. Actually, no. But you're, if you're gonna play along, then all right. Yeah, she's going like, oh yeah, Risha. Um, and he goes. So, uh, what's our training for today, Lyra? Um, I think just probably the standard that we've been doing. All right, sword and shield it is. Now, Lyra, at this point, uh, this is where you're feeling like something is really off. And this was during your sparring. Because uh, the sparring that you're having with, with Risha kind of resembles you during your Templar initiate days. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, then she's, she's sort of starting to think she's, like, training somebody. Yeah, yeah. But then, after that, Risha starts to change a little bit. And from what you see, is that the strike that you're about to see with a sword becomes a bear claw. She'll be like, whoa, and try to block it. You try to block it, it goes right through you. <laughs> and then, the entire form of Risha changes into a bear. And the bear looks up at you, and he will say, Greetings, Lyra Vierson. Um, hello, bear. <laughs> You may call me Sigfrost. I assume you know who I am. Uh, you're the you're the Avar god. That's right, the god of knowledge, the one who works with Kor. You see, there is a reason why I called you here. And all of a sudden, you see your form start to change. You're technically back to your normal self. Okay. But then, the entire room starts to change, and currently, right now, you're in the Fade. I should have guessed. <laughs> and he will say, the final trial awaits for you. However, the thing is, is that during our little extraction, per se, your friends have been lost. I don't know where they are, but you need to try and find them as quickly as possible. Um, how? In the Fade? <sighs> well, the other gods and I are trying to reach out for them as quickly as possible, because someone is trying to interfere with the rise of Bellinus. Just tell me what to do. Very well. And Sigfrost will go follow me. And as he walks his bare way. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow. Alright. Uh, let's see. Um, Gerard. You currently wake up and 
all of a sudden, you're back in Redcliffe. And you are actually in front of the desk of the store. Where, and as you look in the mirror, just like Lyra, you look a little bit older. You're starting to get a little bit of a beard going on. And you start getting some wrinkles down your eyes. And, and of course, right next to you is Marie, your sister. And she, and she's currently counting the amount of silver pieces that they have in the, something equivalent to a cash, uh, to a, uh, a cashier box. And, um, you can see that, uh, your place, the place that you're in has been improved over the last few months. But the problem is, there's no sign of your father. Jared will look around and say, What? I'm... I'm confused. I was at Lake Callan had a few moments ago. Yeah, and... And Marie actually looks back and goes, Oh, morning, sleeping head. Morning. Maybe, maybe I was dreaming about Lake Callan had. Have I been here for a while? I'm uh, maybe I'm just tired. Oh yes, you came back after your little expedition a few years ago. A few years ago. I don't remember anything that's happened since. Uh. Well, hopefully it'll come back to you. Now, here's what happens after that. Gerard, you hear the door uh, door open, and you see this man who who is wearing something that represents Avar. But the thing is, is that shh, this guy ain't Robas. He looks completely different, but you can't put your finger on him. Okay, um, I think that he'll probably switch back into salesperson mode or something and say, uh, um, can, can I help you? And he goes, and then the man will say, Gerard Payne. My, you look worse for wear. <sighs> and then of course, he just snaps his fingers and all of a sudden, Bruh! the entire room, just like how Lyra is, has gone through, changes. You're back to your normal self, and you're currently in a portion of the Fade. And he do, I, do I recognize it as the Fade? Um, roll for cunning religion? Can I use cultural lore? Um... Nah, just religion. Nice, excellent. Nice, okay. Here we go. Um, you, Gerard, you do recall that this is a place where you go to sleep or die. And of course, it is, of course, you know, the home of the Maker. So yeah, you do immediately realize that this is the Fade. Okay, so why am I in the Fade? How did I get here? The man will say, we were trying to uh, start the tradition, but someone interfered. What? Okay, okay. Start. maybe start from the beginning. Does this tradition have to do with Bellinus? Yes, we were about to start the trial, but someone interrupted the process. Who's this someone? Someone that you've already met. And someone who wants what they what you all have. Checkmates. Maybe the it, queen. He nods. Exactly. Somehow, some way she tried to follow. But now something's gone on, gone wrong. 
just can't put our finger on it. What do we do about it? He pulls his finger and goes, follow me. He'll follow. All right. All right, now let's see who's next. Uh, That'd be me. Okay. Okay. Rovas. All right. You wake up, and all of a sudden, you are currently back at your hold in the Thane's area. And you're currently on the Thane's throne, and if you look down, you're currently wearing Thane garments. And you see that a majority of the Avar people are repairing um, Eagle's Reach after what has happened with the checkmates. And uh, someone enters into uh, your into your room into the room, and it's uh, both your mother Anya and your cousin Yirid with a man that you don't recognize. Oh, you brought guests. Rises. And Anya will say, Indeed we have, my fame. This trespasser was trying to get inside our hold, and he would prefer judgment. I see. What say you then? Why did you come to my home? Now the man will look up at you, Rovas, and he will say, I've been searching for you, Rovas Anya's Dutton. I've been searching for you for quite a while. And it's time for you to wake up. And all of a sudden, the scene changes around you, and you are, again, in a portion of the Fade. Your Thane garments are lost, and you're just back to your normal self, and Clever isn't with you. Checks, where's Lovely? Is it on her back? You check. Chink! Lovely's on your back. Daniel? Daniel is nowhere to be found. Anyone about? No one. You're by yourself. God's day just keeps getting weirder. I know, the man says. I guess I should introduce myself. Now, don't be alarmed. But I am Korth, the god of Earth. Blink. Blink. And drops to a knee. Hi. And he goes, Thank you for your aid in many a battle. Thank you. He will pull his arms up. Rise, Rovas. Gets up. <laughs> but we have more impressing matters to be concerned about. Yes. Let me guess. Checkmates? Yes. Unfortunately. Come. I'll give you the details once... But once we are out of here. Alright. Last but not least, Kendra. Kendra, you wake up in your bed, and all of a sudden, you're back in Redcliffe. You have no Templar armor on, and of course, you check if you have your spirit warrior powers. You still do, obviously. And you actually run downstairs and you see your entire family there, including Rovas and a young Roland. Morning, guys. Hey. I had a dream about our journey. Okay. And Rovas, if you want to roleplay as yourself, it's fine. Is this me, or is this Fade me? Fade you. Okay. Just... Oh, I know, those dreams are the worst. Mm. It's been so long, but I still have... I still have them sometimes. Yeah. <sighs> What's for breakfast? Yeah, Elena will say... Something uh, I have not prepared. Yeah, something of the Lowlander style, Lena says. 
Now, Kendra, you find this off because a majority of your family, including Robos, are a lot older. Hmm. Justice? Is something going on? Um... Yeah, this is the part where things start to get a little weird. The Spirit of Justice is standing right next to you. And... And... This... The person that you're seeing... Is actually a woman. And you get the feeling that she... Is familiar. But you can't put your finger on it. And... She will say... This is very weird indeed. Who... I pull out my shield. Alright. The, the, the shield, the key, uh... What was it called again? Uh, the shield of the Sky Maiden? Yeah, sh the shield... I thought it was the shield of the Sky Mother. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It was the Sky Mother. Yeah. <laughs> Been a while since I know any of the, the weapons. Sorry. Hmm. Uh, um... You try and pull out the shield. It's not there. Hmm. Now, all of a sudden, a knock comes in at your door. And you... And you hear Daniel say, I'll get it! And Daniel runs over to the door, and he says, Uh, Kendra? It's for you! I... Me and Justice walk over to the door. Alright. You walk over to the door, and all of a sudden, something happens. You feel a rush of wind come bursting right out of your face, and as... You open your eyes, you're in the Fade, and you're back in your Templar armor. And the Spirit of Justice is right next to you. Justice, do you know what's going on? I honestly don't know. And then the woman that's in front of you right now says, Kendra Arius and the Spirit of Justice, I'm glad that we finally got the chance to meet. I take it you're the Sky Mother. And she goes, oh, How did you know? She says sarcastically. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> now she will say, Listen, I don't have much time to tell you, but something happened. Someone tried to interrupt the, the process of your trial. I see. Well, we're going to have to go fix that then, aren't we? Justice will not. Indeed. Let's find that out and make sure that the trial is a success. And the lady will clap her hands. Good, good. Now, if you ladies can follow me. I know. All right. Yeah. All right. So, here's what happens to the four of you. Um... The fade starts to twist around a little bit. And right now, you're currently walking on a road. Now, at a character, the four of you are currently in the crossroads, which is, of course, as you may know, lore wise, is a, the, a patch of the fade that connects both the mortal realm and the fade. And you kind of find it, all four of you find it really odd when you transfer from the Fade to the Crossroads. Now then. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go back into the order. Um, Lyra. As the Crossroads starts to uh, appear before you, um, Sigfrost has disappeared out of nowhere. Well, I guess I'm on my own then, she kind of says to herself. Alright, 
you hear a voice saying, No, you're not. I'm still with you. So, do you, good. Do you know where the other people are? Last time I heard, they're finally where we are right now. Alright. So, she checks her bag for her... Or actually... Sorry. Um, is it just our four friends that are in here, or our whole group? Is that what Lyra's asking? Yeah. Um, Sigfrost will say, I could sense the, the three other gods, but I don't know where your friends are. Alright, so I just pick a direction and go. Alright, you pick your direction, and you walk off. Alright, now then, uh, Gerard. As the fade uh, disappears from you specifically, um, um, you see that the person still is still with you and is still following, and is still leading you to where your destination is. And he will say, "We are here." What's here? Where's everyone else? Alright, first part of the question, you're on the crossroads, which is a place, of course, between your mortal world and the Fade. And secondly, the other gods are here, but your friends? I have no clue. Can I ask who you are? Oh, of course, I forgot. I'm Hakon, the god of lightning. I see. What do we do now? Like, how can we get to everyone else? Uh, well, we need to make sure that the other gods are there, and they have if they have their your friends. Then that is a good sign that we could be able to begin the process. Well, let's try and find them, I guess. Yes. I could sense that sick frost is nearby. Korth and the Lady of the Sky. They're closer. Jordan will yell out, anyone out there? And Korth will go, shh, 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 Careful. Sorry. <sighs> it's fine. Just let's keep going. All right. Now, Rovas, you and Korth are now currently in the crossroads. So what was up with that I'll... time you cut out your heart? That was weird. <sighs> what else is she gonna get to talk to a god? <laughs> <laughs> and he'll say, I don't want to think about it. To be honest, I still am a god and I still prefer to have worshippers behind me. Always worship you, of course, but... Sorry, my, my friends. We should go find my friends. Indeed. Now this time, that's where you hear the... Anybody out there? And you real recognize the voice of Gerard Payne. So I guess we're heading that way. I assume so. If Hakon and the others are here, then that's a good sign. Indeed. Now let's let's go. We don't want to interrupt the process. Process? Your trial, dear. Oh, right, that thing. I thought we were gonna go hurt checkmates. I'm more for hurting checkmates right now. I mean I get your oh. my patron gold of strength, but I'm feeling a little bit more Hakun right now and like I want vengeance. I know, I know. But you'll get that in due time. Once you are out of here, of course. Excellent. Let's go find Gerard. And hack on as well. Let's go. Yeah, more Gerard. He's my favorite. <laughs> he kind of chuckles to himself. 